Hey, we're Drax Project, and we're hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. Welcome back to LA. Like, what's been going on here while you guys have been here? You guys went to Coachella this weekend? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we did go to Coachella, which was amazing. That was the first time we've ever been. Yeah. We played, like, a Rolling Stones, like, pre-party. Nice. Um, which was sick, like, right on the edge of a pool. That was nice. awesome. Um, it was my first pool party, actually. <laughs> ever. So that was good. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, man. We're, um, we're just over here trying to finish an album. Okay. Uh, so we've just been doing as many s sessions as we can, trying yeah. to finish off some tracks, which is exciting. Real cool. Now, as you guys are, like, kind of working on this album, you guys had the opportunity of having, like, one of the longest running singles, like, since 2017. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> woke Up Late, like, this single, like, people still are, like, really either getting to know it for the first time or, like, they're still playing it over and over. Yeah. Um, what was it about this single, do you guys feel, like, made the, the track the way it is today? Uh, I mean... I think the whole thing came together really naturally for us mm -hmm. uh, in the writing process. Everything felt very, uh, yeah, like it just moved really naturally and, and organically, yeah. yeah. And, um, and I think that kind of comes out in the product. I think yeah. people can connect to that and like it's something that, um, it just feels natural to sing along with and right. that, that mm -hmm. kind of thing, yeah. I feel like also it's, it's, it has no limit on who it appeals to like we've had videos of little kids singing along we've had videos <laughs> receiving videos of like grandmas singing yeah. along which is really cool bubble, yeah like exactly it's like it's it's for anyone and um yeah we really like the song which is important as well so we're happy to show people it and all of that play it obviously <laughs> <laughs> now, right now everybody's listening to the new version with, which features uh Haley steinfeld but you know as you guys first created the track like what was that session like when you guys were writing the track for the first time i think the process the whole process of the song took probably around five four or five months mm -hmm. it wasn't we didn't like work on it that whole time it was like work on a little bit yeah. forget we forgot about it <laughs> remind ourselves that it exists went to a pool party yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> writing a whole bunch of music at the same time and when we finally got back to it it was like it was like oh wow we've don't touch it like yeah. <laughs> it's done don't 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 go any further with it like right. It's we, like we like Sam a, said, it's organic, yeah. yeah. We have a tendency to try and like kind of overcomplicate mm. things when it comes to production and, and songwriting. So with this song with Woke Up Late, like we had the guitar line and the melody and the lyrics there. And we're like, cool, like Sean said, like don't touch it, just like put what needs to be there and right. just, just not mess with it. And mm. yeah, it just came together really naturally. Mm. And as as this new version comes up with, with Haley on the tracks as well, like um, you guys still kind of rearranged some parts of it. I feel like uh, yeah, some of the drums was a little cheap. We yeah. brought the yeah. kick drum in earlier. Yeah. And, we and it used it to be 118, BPM. and now it's 119. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> B BPM. So, yeah. so what, what made you guys like want to like change it a little bit? I think, yeah, well, I think we always, we kind of wanted a new, newer, slightly version mm -hmm. with the kick coming in early. Um, That's how we used to do it live, right? Yeah, that's, that's true. true. Yeah, we've we've been playing it live for a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, every time. But when the <laughs> we felt like when the kick when the kick when the kick came in, it gave it a bit more energy. Having Haley on the track, we've already got new energy just from that. Right. Yeah. It's like let's just get a new, like a slightly fresher version. It's not too different, really. Yeah. It's just and like a couple of little changes. It's funny the difference that one BPM can make. Yeah. To a song, like yeah. how it feels when we were playing it live. At a slower tempo, it actually felt so much slower. Well, yeah, like yeah. to us, just when we're playing live, so yeah. that that little small difference. Now yeah. it's a dance track. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it isn't like a low key house track, to yeah, be honest. Yeah. So, um, you guys, when you guys first started, like you guys were doing like a lot of the busking. You guys were doing a lot of the covers. Um, when you guys transitioned from doing covers to writing your own original music, like what was that transition like? Was it like a hard period? of time when you guys were trying to figure out like how to write a song or did it just come naturally because you guys were in a sense recreating all of these covers that you were making uh, yeah that's really interesting it was like I, I think we were it was just like five minutes long though yeah. Yeah. We, we, we grew from playing music yeah. like covers and we we didn't really write that much music but um, we were actually writing a lot of jazz music mm -hmm. so that was completely different to what we are doing now right but so it wasn't like an overnight thing. It was like four years, five, yeah, like five, five, five years of, wow. of being together oh, yeah. and writing music and playing covers and playing whatever show we could get. Yeah. So it's been a long process and we are still 
nowhere near yeah refining <laughs> it nowhere near where we want to be you right. know like in terms of like how good we are in our process but we are getting better every single time so right yeah now I, when you came into the band like that's when the writing kind of started happening right so what was it about what was it about Ben that kind of like influenced more original tracks well, he's got a guitar. He knows how to play the guitar, which is <laughs> handy. Um, a lot of our music, when we're writing stuff, it starts off with guitar lines. Yeah. Woke up late, did. Um, so it's a nice... I feel like it's an easy way to start a song. And if you can play... If you can sing a song from start to end, just voice and a guitar, and it sounds good, it's normal... Like, generally, it's a good song. Right. So it's a good way to um, figure out... Um, if you got the song finished before you even do all the extra stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, Ben adds that. Yeah, it's great. I think that... Uh, <laughs> keep it up. <laughs> we'll keep you around. <laughs> There's not that many pop songs. It might be official. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's not that many pop songs that you hear nowadays that don't have any kind of chordal instrument uh -huh. as well. Like, that's pretty unusual just to be like bass, drums and vocals. Um, but, I mean... You know, that's not to say don't don't try it, <laughs> but yeah, Ben Ben definitely uh, added that little bit of sauce to bring it all together yeah. in a pop context. Now, in the past, 2014, in the past, you guys uh, did your your oh, debut man. EP. Um, you guys had a song in there called "Waiting," um, yeah. with a, a feature. Watching. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. watching. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You guys had a chalk in there watching with a feature in there, and I, I, it's still up there. Uh, okay, okay, it's cool, cool. it's still up there. But I was listening to it, and I love the vibe of like your sound with like a hip hop style of artist. Yeah, yeah bro. Um, can we expect that on this upcoming album? Can we expect more songs like that, or do you? Short answer: Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, we are writing um, closer into that vibe. Like, yeah. I mean, some of the songs are like woke up late, but mm. some of them are like that. Yeah, for sure. It's actually been a really cool, I don't know, it's not new for us because we've done in the past, but right. we haven't actually gotten to a studio and made hip hop for a while. <laughs> so We've always been hip hop fans, Yeah, for sure. I love the fact that there's a saxophone player in this band, so it's like, I love when hip hop and sax kind of come together oh, bro, in a sense. Wait. Got the song for you. you just we have that. the song for you. Right. <laughs> oh, yes. Bro, it's 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 funny you mentioned that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact. <laughs> so, you know, you guys are working on this album. Like how different is this album, the creative process of this album? Do you guys go back to your old material and kind of like dissect it in a in a way to kind of grow on this record? I think we reflect on it, see the mistakes we made and learn from it. And I feel like if we can remember what we did and remember what was good, you know, yeah. like, because we made some good songs. And if we can, like, woke up late, if we can learn of how, you know, like, how do we Why make that? Good. Why is that good? Yeah. Then we can hopefully build on that as a band and as a group and come to ev make even more music that's better and just as good, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And we've also been playing some of the, like, some of the songs that will be on the album. We've been playing them live for mm -hmm. a year, even some of them more than a year. Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. We've like kind of road tested them, seeing what parts work, what parts fall flat, and just using that as like a tool to get the song as right. the best it can be, kind of thing, you know. And, and like as you say, looking back on tracks um, and, and reflecting on them, or as Sean said, um, is an important part of the process. But I think that generally, the best material that we make comes when we're not thinking mm -hmm. about stuff too hard yeah. it's it's like more natural mm. what is the n most natural thing to put with this thing you know like mm -hmm. what vocal should naturally go with this guitar line or whatever right. and and we just try not to think about it as much as possible <laughs> which yeah. sounds like the exact <laughs> you know that that's right. that's like a uh, You're thinking hard, too hard not to think hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so it's just about trying to be natural and letting things yeah. flow. Yeah. yeah. Now, how do you guys feel like you've evolved, you know, instrumental-wise, like on on this record? Hmm. Well, the very first, the when you mentioned um, watching before, yeah. that song. Not waiting. It's not called waiting. <laughs> you can try search waiting, you'll find nothing. <laughs> but um, it's not even on a click track. I'm pretty sure there's parts of that song that's just. Live drums, yeah, no click track, no BPM. Yeah, so that, that's fully live instrumentation. The new yeah. stuff we're making is not fully live. Okay. Some aspects are, but um, yeah, that's something you can expect. So a bit more <laughs> sample-y kind of drums. Um, 
What else? We, 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 we actually do use, like, we all play instruments, obviously. Mm. And, um, you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're still learning. Um, and uh, when we play live, we do expand on our recorded music, I right. guess is a way to say it. Like, you know, Matt will make a sampled beat and make some flames drums, I gotta say. And um, when we play live, he ups, the, up, you know, it's just exciting to play live. And when we do play live, we get to play guitar out of an amp and right. bass and Matt gets on a kit and he gets to slay it. So it's, it's like, it's, it's a different yeah. feel and it's more exciting when we get to take those recorded music and play it in a live context, so mm. yeah. It's also like in terms of songwriting, we've kind of learned that sometimes like, you know, less is more. Like mm. we'll be writing a song yeah. around a guitar line and then we'll kind of develop this track around this, this like riff and then realize that that doesn't actually have a place in the song anymore yeah. and fully just take it out. We've been doing and it's, that a it's, lot Yeah, lately. and then it just sounds like something we, went, we wouldn't have come up with if we didn't go through that process, but right. there's a few tracks on the album that have had that kind of approach to it, which is, which yeah. is cool. It yeah. is crazy. It's crazy, like, making, like, this whole extremely complex guitar line, and then, and then like, two weeks later, we've written the whole song, and we're like, that take guitar it, line is... Take it just, out. Just get rid of it, <laughs> and we're just like, oh, my God, this is so sick. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Just overcomplicating things can be disguising. You yeah. know, we would just want to make the song as good as we can, so we're not precious about things. You know, if that doesn't work, it doesn't matter. It's cool. Right. Yeah. Now, what about producer-wise? You guys are you guys working with anyone specific on this on this record? Or are you guys still testing the waters with producers? Yeah, we've got three or four different producers on this album. Yeah. And so uh, Devin Abrams is one from back in New Zealand. He's mm -hmm. been a day one with us, so he produced Woke Up Late. Um, he. He's, yeah, yeah, he's a great friend of ours, so he's on the album. There's a few other US, LA-based producers okay. who are amazing. Yeah, <laughs> um, we're still finalising. Like, we definitely haven't um, finalised the whole album yet, so we're yeah. still working through it. And, and we have, you know, a whole bunch of tracks um, which may or may not be on this album, and if they're not, then they'll probably be on the second, okay. second one. So it's exciting to have uh, enough work there, enough content that we're you know, looking to the future. Right. I remember the time when we had like two, two songs um, and the, we were writing like two songs. Now we've got like 50 or 60 to choose yeah, from. Yeah. Remember that, that, that was so stressful, yeah. those days. <laughs> like, man, what should we release next? Or what are our options? Oh, this yeah. or this? Yeah. Uh, oh, these kind of suck. Um, now it's, yeah, we've got some better stuff to choose from. Yeah. And that's Way the, better stuff. <laughs> that's the thing. When you don't have enough content, you're trying to force that's these it. like two things to be really good right. but it's like sometimes you just gotta let it go and work on something new and then it will come sometimes guys yeah. sometimes you sometimes you sometimes work on something for sucks. three <laughs> three to five years down the yeah. track you're just like man i don't know but it's a good learning process yeah so is maggie lindenman on the album Oh, I don't know. Maggie, you want to be on the album? Yeah. I, I saw you guys posted with her, so I was like hoping that there might be some kind of she's, some kind of collaboration. She's a label mate of ours, okay. so she's also on 300. Um, so that was that was that kind of connection. But I mean, Maggie, you know, if you want to be yeah. on the album, wow. we're here. Hey, uh, you have our number, and I'm sure there are other people who you know who have our number. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. We're gonna say Cheers. something. No, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Uh, thank you very much, Maggie, uh, for the for the future message that you'll send us. <laughs> so, what is next with you guys? Uh, as you guys are currently working on the album, are you guys planning any like shows, or you guys just want to focus on creating this record before anything else happens? I mean, our focus is definitely always the music and mm -hmm. making new stuff. And but we are playing shows, of course. We're playing Bonnaroo. Um, this year, we're going to UK for a couple of weeks okay. and doing some shows there. Great Escape Festival, nice. doing promo in the UK, and um, we're playing our own shows as well in the yeah. UK. Um, and we'll definitely be doing some shows in New Zealand this year, okay. and some more in the US for sure. Yeah, okay. we're, st we're still planning. Yeah, our focus is on the music though. Yeah, mm. we want to finish this album as yeah. fast as possible, so release it. And Very close. Yeah. So so close. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, close. <laughs> so can we expect 2019 for either a record to drop or a new single? Oh, the, the album, yeah, both. Yeah, okay. yep. it's happening. It's right. happening this year. It may or may not have saxophone, and it may or may not be a... a well, you already told me that there's a song in there for yeah. me, so you can't, you can't tease it anymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah unless, unless you toss it. Can we just tease everything? <laughs> You're not allowed to use that bit. 
<laughs> well, guys, thanks for finally hanging out with me. Like I said, I want to hang out with you guys uh, the last time you guys were out in L.A. So I'm glad to make this happen. I look forward to the new material. You guys be sure to check out Drax Project. Thanks for watching here on Front Row Live.